Muscle in the Morning, and I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Monday, December 31st, 2018. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. I got sucked into doing one of those Facebook things that tell you what kind of a spirit animal you are, and apparently I'm some sort of eagle, but if somehow I can come back in an alternate universe as a women's physique competitor, you can sign me up to be Juliana Malacarney any day of the week. A few days ago, my women's physique spirit animal was spotted training back at Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym, where she managed to bang out a few good looking sets of bent rows in the process. To be completely honest, I have no clue what her competitive future looks like at this point. But no matter what happens from this point on, she secured her spot as one of the greatest female physique athletes of all time. Last weekend, one of my buddies tried to talk me into going on this high stakes poker trip that they're doing in international waters on New Year's Eve. And even though I'm not going because I definitely don't want to be divorced, I'm still thinking about going all in on Rafael Brandeo as my dark horse pick for this year's Arnold Classic. The pride of Brazil is heading into this year's show as one of the real wild cards in the lineup because out of everyone in the men's open, he seems like the one who could be the most improved over what we brought last season. Traditionally, the Arnold has been a place that rewards superstars for their greatness, but if he's on point, a guy like Brandeo has a chance to set the tone for what could be an awesome next season. Now that I have kids, I feel like it makes me an expert in human behavior because all you do as a parent is try to figure out ways to manipulate tiny people with sneaky feet. But you don't need to be an FBI profiler to figure out that women's physique all-star Michaela Aycock is behaving like someone who's planning on making waves next season. Over the last few weeks, the Aycock camp has been releasing a steady stream of material that shows the 23-year-old force of nature absolutely killing the game. You can't be a fan of the division and not love the attitude that Aycock brings to the game day in and day out. And after that small taste of success she had last season, to me, she seems like the perfect candidate to make another jump up the ladder this year. Here at RxMuscle.com, we believe in celebrating all the holiday traditions. And thankfully for us, Josh Lenardowitz decided to share his celebration of International Chess Day with the world again. Today we saw the big guy knocking out a few sets of heavy dumbbell presses as he starts to crank up the intensity on his Arnold Classic prep, which has been starting to generate more and more buzz as the weeks pass by. There's only a very tiny short list of guys who can deliver a bigger freak factor than Josh Lenardowitz when he's on his game. And if he can deliver the goods in Ohio after the roller coaster that he's been riding over the last 18 months, that would make all the struggles and sacrifices worth it in the end. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And have a great New Year's.